What happens when you wish upon a star? Apparently you get a Disney live-action Pinocchio. Yes, Pinocchio. I've given you life. Pinocchio has joined the list of films Disney just couldn't wait to adapt more than 80 years after its original release. Obviously, things 80 years ago were a lot different, which means it's only natural for a 2022 version to stray away from the original movie. But just how much did it stray? Number 1. Plants or no plants? One of the first things that comes to mind when you think of Pinocchio is probably the fairy magic that causes his nose to grow when he's being untruthful. But it seems like in the original film, the Blue Fairy had a bit of an interest in botany. If you look at this side-by-side -side comparison, you'll see that when Pinocchio and Geppetto find out about the nose-growing situation, the original blooms a plant on the end, while the live-action one doesn't. Looks like some sort of fairy magic. Kinda on the nose, if you ask me. Number 2. Bedroom Attire What would Geppetto be without his nightgown and cap during the scenes where he finds out he finally has a real boy? Well, the creators of the live action knew how iconic the outfit was and couldn't get rid of it completely, but they did make some changes. Instead of the red Snow White and the Seven Dwarves-like cap he wore in the 1940s, the live action changes it to a more conventional, toned-down nightcap. What is your name? Uh, oh, uh, Cricket's the name. Jiminy Cricket. Number three, he's more bug-like. A live action film comes with the opportunity to make animals and bugs look more realistic than any animated film ever could and they brought out all the resources for that when it came to Jiminy Cricket. He actually looks like a cricket this time. He also isn't wearing socks and doesn't have a scarf as part of his outfit in the 2022 version. Oh, he's also voiced by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, so that's a huge plus. Pinocchio! Oh, Pinocchio! <laughs> Number 4. The Flashy Fox has there ever been a Disney character as untrustworthy as the fox in Pinocchio? We're happy to report that his untrustworthiness doesn't loop-pop disappear in the live action, but there were a few changes made to him physically. He's a little more flashy and less run down than he was in the original version. Take a look at all those accessories he's wearing. Like Jiminy Cricket, he also got the upgrade that came with advancing technology and looks very, very much like a real fox. Can we also take a moment to appreciate how amazing of a casting Keegan-Michael Key was for the fox? A boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. Number 5. When representation matters, the Blue Fairy is as majestic as ever in the new live-action film, but doesn't really resemble the original Cinderella-esque fairy we know from the original. Instead, we have actress Cynthia Rivo, who also happens to be a person of color playing the character, adding some much-needed representation into the Disney universe. They've also used their CGI capabilities to bring her magic to life in a more realistic way. If you take a look at their outfits, although both glowing blue, they are very different in design. Even the shape of their wings is different between the two films. Number 6. Animation Differences Pinocchio wasn't the only thing Geppetto cared for in the films. He also had two pets, which one could argue were trying to help him fill the void of not having a real child. Figaro and Cleo also got a makeover in the new live-action film. Figaro is actually a real cat, and Cleo was also made to heavily resemble a real goldfish instead of the cartoonish versions of the characters we got in the original. I think Figaro is jealous of you. Number 7. Humble vs. Menacing Probably on purpose, the coachman that leads the children into Pleasure Island was meant to look welcoming and even a little like Santa in order to get the children to trust him. But in the live action, that appearance was thrown completely out the window. Instead, we have Luke Evans, who has a lot of dark roles under his belt, playing a more menacing version. He ditched the white hair for black leather and a pirate hat. Number 8. No Apple First days of school are a pretty big deal for the students and even more so for the parent. And Geppetto was no exception. In both films, he hypes his newly made son up and even makes him do a little dance. While the scenes are eerily similar, in the new version, Pinocchio doesn't have an apple in his hand. He opens the door by hanging on the knob, and there's an extra moment between father and son when Geppetto says, I will be right here when you get back. Number 9. Multiple Puppets Pinocchio's intro to stardom, if that's what you'd call it, came with the introduction of other puppets. This is true for both films, but in the 2022 remake, there's just one puppet that Pinocchio dances with, a ballerina. In the original, he was basically ambushed by a variety of female puppet dancers who do not resemble the puppet dancer in the live action at all. Who's there? It's me! It's me. Uh -huh. Number 10. Dramatic versus Realism The moment when Geppetto discovers that Pinocchio has become a real boy unfolds pretty similarly across the two films. The Blue Fairy pays a visit and Geppetto wakes up to some unusual noises. But in the original, things get a bit more dramatic. 
When Pinocchio pulls on Geppetto's leg, Geppetto gets so startled he jumps and falls over. This is a huge characteristic of animated films, the not-so-realism of it all. But in the new film they had to tone it down for realism. While Geppetto is startled, he doesn't lose his footing and reacts in a much more… human? way? Number 11. Different Scenery Geppetto's house is where everything happens and it's one of the very first shots of the entire film. As we pan into the movie in both versions, we get a view of the town and the house. While they do look pretty similar, there still are some differences. The shape of the house is slightly different and the surrounding area seems more populated with buildings. In the live action, we also see Jiminy in the shot approaching Geppetto's home. I wonder what time it is. Number 12. Indoor Renovations Now that we've talked about the outside of Geppetto's house, let's talk about the inside. While the workshop is more or less the same, things have slightly moved around. For instance, there's a window above the workbench in the new version. The wall of clocks has also been updated to showcase a more modern version instead of the childlike and quirky ones from the original. Number 13. A Modernized Version A huge contention of the Pinocchio films is Pleasure Island, a place where Pinocchio gets taken, a place of captivity disguised as an amusement park. In the original film, Pleasure Island looks more like a traveling carnival, as opposed to the new film where it looks like an established modern amusement park. The signs are also different. While the new version keeps the creepy clown statue from the original, it's adorned with a very flashy sign. Come on, come on! Shut the doors and lock them tight! Number 14. Technology Advancements Being a few decades into the future, the live action obviously has technology on its side. While the first Pinocchio was completely animated, the new live action mixes animation and realism in a way that allows Pinocchio and his animal counterparts to portray a form of realism the original animation wasn't able to achieve. Number 15. All Brand New Pinocchio's When You Wish Upon a Star has become a staple in the world of Disney. It's one of the songs you hear constantly if you take a trip to one of the many Disney theme parks. So for the film they recorded a new version of the song, but they also introduced an entirely new soundtrack of original songs to rival those of Moana and possibly even Frozen. Who's the Beatles? Hang on, put me down! I got it! Number 16. A Whole New Cast Of course, when the original Pinocchio was released back in 1940, Hollywood was made up of a much different lineup of stars than we have today. 1940 was also over 80 years ago, which means that recasting for the film was quite literally the only option. But creators didn't just recast, they hired some of the hottest celebs in the industry. We have Tom Hanks as Geppetto, Luke Evans as the coachman, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Jiminy Cricket, just to name a few. What do you think of the live-action Pinocchio in comparison to the original version? Do you think it compares in quality? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you love this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching The Things Animated.